Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode 12 of the Crimson Passion Foods and Treats by Simply Not Other, uh, not other Than. <laughs> Got a tongue twister there, you know. But none other than simply the Crimson Warrior, me. So guys, uh, for today's episode, oh my gosh guys, I have so much to cover from Easter to April to May. I mean, so much new stuff that you guys have got to see. So this is the Crimson Passion Foods and Treats episode 12. So without further ado, let's begin. So guys, I wanted to start you guys off with a total surprise. And you know what? I actually found um, quite a few things at Albertsons, but we'll start off with this one. So if you guys haven't seen the advertisement for it yet on, uh, on Facebook, then at least I've got it covered for you. <laughs> so for the first one, we've got this new Flips Strawberry Shortcake Flavored Covered Pretzels. I have yet to try this one. I haven't even opened this yet. Can you believe that, guys? But I wanted to... Uh, to see what this tastes like and give my review, obviously. So let's rip this thing open and break it out. And in fact, um, so let me see here. There we go. Okay. So guys, let's see how this one does, honestly, because I'm curious and you know you can't go wrong with strawberry shortcake flavored things. So give me a moment here and just show you guys again, in case if you didn't see it. And... I had to have hand wipes with me to keep my hands clean, since my laptop's not necessarily clean at the moment. But anyways, here's the strawberry shortcake flips pretzels. Mmm. That is very good, actually. I'm... Wow. That's definitely one of the better... Of covered pretzels. I remember those days when you used to be able to go to Sprouts and get covered pretzels, like chocolate covered kind, vanilla covered kind. I think they even had like a raspberry covered kind at one point, but it's kind of, um, every time I think about covered pretzels, it reminds me of those days at Sprouts when I used to buy those a lot when I was younger. But oh my gosh, those are so good. I'm gonna have one more because it, it's just, it's that good. Seriously, guys. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, baby. That's the perfect movie snack. It really is. Mm. So then, the other one I haven't opened, guys, the other new flavor of the Flips pretzels. A churro-covered kind. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see how this does. I gotta open this baby, too. So, let's try it. Oh, I got two in one here. <laughs> Looks like there's a little bit of chocolate on this cinnamon churro kind, too. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It definitely has that nice cinnamon churro flavor, no doubt. <laughs> oh, baby, that's good. Mm. Oh, I love these um, covered flips pretzels. These are these are seriously so good. My mom used to get this stuff actually when when my sisters and I were kids, and we'd have like chocolate or vanilla covered pretzels. And so it's nice to see that growing up and everything, there are new flavors that you can have. Uh, so yeah, that's the churro kind. Um, also guys, you're not going to believe what new sodas came out in the last couple of months. Now the first one, this was obviously an Easter themed one, but in case if I didn't show this in my previous video, check this out. This one's not around anymore because, uh, it's been a while since I made a Crimson Passion video, but this is a Marshmallow Peeps flavored Pepsi. Now I know you guys might be thinking like, oh, that sounds gross. That's not good. Who puts Peeps and Pepsi? Well, actually, you know what, guys? This is actually pretty good because it's pretty much just a marshmallow-flavored Pepsi. And marshmallow actually blends well with colas, like like Pepsi or Coca-Cola. Um, 
I think it blends uh, better with Coca Cola, honestly, just from my experiences when I got like a custom one. It's so delicious. And I added marshmallow flavor to my Coca Cola, and it was better in that way. But this is good too, by the way. I actually enjoyed this one. This is a nice one, and plus, you know, it only comes in a tiny can. So even if you don't end up liking it, then at least you could say you tried it, and then you know not to buy it again if you don't like it. But personally, I think it's good. But I will say that there are other Pepsi and Mountain Dew flavors that are better, but this one is still worth trying, definitely. At least once or twice, you know? So that's that one. <clears throat> and then, guys, uh, the newest Mountain Dew, I found them at Fry's and Albertsons, and I'm pretty sure it's going to hit all the grocery stores at some point because... It is one of the upcoming summertime themed Mountain Dews. And so you don't want to miss out on this one because this is limited edition summer kind. But check this out, guys. The new Summer Freeze Mountain Dew, the all new one. Now, if you guys don't know what this one is, this is actually a, this is based off of those popsicles called Bomb Pops. So the funny thing is this actually tastes kind of like a combination of Bomb Pops and a little bit of a gummy taste to it. And it's really good, actually. This is one of my new favorite Mountain Dews. So they actually, this week, there was a limited edition deal at Fry's. And I don't know how long this deal will last. But usually at Fry's, whenever they have discounts on certain Mountain Dew or Pepsi flavors, it's usually it usually only lasts for like one week. And then after that, the prices go back up on the sodas. And it's actually insane that 12 packs of soda these days uh, cost a crap load of money. Like, I mean... It's usually like seven to nine bucks per 12 pack usually. And normally, at, if it were normal price for these Summer Freeze Mountain Dews, it would be like, because since it's like $9 a 12 pack, it would be more like $27 for three packs. But guess what, guys? I scored at Fry's this week, and I went to the one on Lindsay and Broadway, by the way. And they actually had three of these Summer Freeze 12 packs for just $15. That is a really great deal. Like, three 12 packs for 15 bucks. I mean, it's hard to find a deal that good, especially for three 12 packs. I mean, you'd be spending almost $30 for buying three 12 packs of soda on a normal basis. But this discount deal, it's probably not going to be around next week. Who knows? Hopefully it is, but I'm not holding my breath on it to have that good of a deal, a three for 15 deal on these by next week, but just know, guys, I'm sorry if I'm late to telling you guys this, but I just wanted to say that even if you just bought one 12-pack, I mean, obviously, there are still 12 can cans, so you can all divide it up between a family and decide how much or no how much not you want out of this, but this one is obviously the best new Mountain Dew of the summer. Um, the next ones released are supposed to be uh, two new Baja flavors. I mean, we all grew up knowing what Baja Blast is, that tropical lime Mountain Dew that's exclusive to Taco Bell, and they release it as like a summer edition kind, like a special edition kind during the summer times um, in grocery stores and cans of bottles. But obviously, uh, as you guys have seen the last couple of summers, in fact, there have been like new of the Baja edition Mountain Dews. So, for example, 2021 summer, they had Baja, um, they had like the Baja Flash, which was like a pina colada Mountain Dew. And then the other one, I think, was like, I can't even remember what the other one was, but it was like a tropical kind. Um, those were the two new ones of 2021 summer. So then last year's summer, they actually had a pineapple Mountain Dew that was called Baja Gold. And then the other equivalent one was like a Baja mango kind. I can't remember the name of the exact title for the mango kind. But that was last year's. So, guys, fast forwarding to this summer. Usually hits the stores in July for the Baja editions. But I just wanted to let you know that as of this summer, there are going to be two new Baja Mountain Dews in the summer of 2023. Probably won't hit the shelves until late June or early July around there. That's typically when the Baja ones come. But this summer, the two new Baja flavors, there's going to be a guava flavored Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's right. I said guava based off of islands like Hawaii or even, you know, I think they grow, grow guava down in Mexico, but just saying like guava um, is, is very good. 
with uh, Mountain Dew flavors. I tried custom once before at like, you know, Swig or So Delicious Fizz Drinks, whatever. They actually have guava syrup that you can put into Mountain Dews. And guys, it is so good. Um, and then also the second Baja flavor they're going to release this summer. Keep this other one in mind. A passion fruit flavored Mountain Dew. And guys, you know how good passion fruit is. And it, and, and it blends perfectly with citrus sodas like Mountain Dews. So you just know I am going to jump on that opportunity this summer. <laughs> Especially the passion fruit kind. But... Both, I think, are going to be really good, honestly. So anyways, that's that on the uh, sodas for now. So next thing up, guys, there are two new uh, Hostess snack cakes out. Kind of like, you know, how Little Debbie has snack cakes. Well, Hostess is doing their fair share of snack cakes. And this one is actually my favorite of the two. Uh, but this is a chocolate caramel kind. It's kind of hard to see on here. But this is pretty much like a caramel cream filled chocolate snack cake it's like chocolate covered snack cake with like the caramel cream inside of it uh it has a very nice melt in the mouth feeling like oh ooh, you know great flavor <laughs> so that's one of them and uh these by the way these chocolate caramel ones i want to say i found these at either walmart or fries if i remember right i can't remember for sure but um it was like one of those stores but I'm pretty sure I remember seeing them at Fry's now, too. So there's that one. And then the second flavor is a triple chocolate kind. This is a great one, too, but I still think personally that the chocolate caramel one is better. But this is definitely worth having, too, because this is another great treat. So, uh, yeah, it has the, this weird name, like Kaz Bars from the Hostess brand, as you can see. Um, so those are good. And at Walmart, actually, I found some knockoffs that are supposed to be kind of like, uh, this one's supposed to be kind of like Milky Ways. It's a caramel and nougat filled bar. Now, you wouldn't think that this knockoff brand is good, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not as great as Milky Way, but if you want like a cheaper alternative or if you just want to try it because this one you might, if maybe you might like this one just as much as Milky Way, uh, then maybe that's the one for you, but... I think these are pretty good, but I still think Milky Ways are better, in all honesty. Because Milky Ways do have caramel and nougat in it, after all. But uh, still great, nonetheless. Um, so then, guys, uh, there is there are some actually some candies, too. Like, uh, fruity candies that I'm about to get to, uh, by the way. So I just found out at, um, at Albertsons, I found this new uh, Sour Punch straw bites flavors right here and you guys know growing up in our childhood we remember how much we loved sour candies and sour punches were like a thing like early 2000s they even had like a shrek themed sour punch straws that were like green and had a nice uh apple flavor to it if i remember right guys correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's like a green apple kind or something back in the day well anyways this one this is kind of weird, a weird twist. I haven't tried these, but this is like a kind that says not so sour, sour punch sweet bites. So let's see. The flavors are <clears throat> dream berry, passion fruit, grateful, grateful, grape, <laughs> cotton candy. So uh, here are these. If you can see these guys, uh, if the light lighting doesn't get too much into it, um, it also shows on the back as well. If you can, let me see if I can get a closer view on this. So I can see it and everybody can see it. But there's on the back, it also shows the flavors. So let's actually open these. I, I kind of want to investigate on this one. I'm curious to see if this is worth the uh, not so sour, worth biting into kind of thing. So let's see. Let's try. Let's try this one. Let's see which one that is. That might be the passion for a kind, or, or passion punch. Hmm. That's good. I will say, it, these candies would be way better if they were sour, but nonetheless, this is, still has a good fruity flavor to it for sure. You know. Um. 
These are definitely worth trying at least once. Now let's try the blue one, the Dreamberry kind of. Hmm. So let's try the Dreamberry, this blue one here. Hmm. It was good. That's kind of a weird twist to it. I don't know what to compare it to, really. It's like a like a non-sour version of like blueberry or blue raspberry or something like that. Still good though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, there's this grateful grape kind that I would like to try. Yeah, you know, some of the candies got stuck together. Hang on, guys. <laughs> All right, so grateful grape. Here we go. Grape, <clears throat> grape flavor Mountain Dew. I mean, I just say Mountain Dew, really. I have pitch black on my mind. <laughs> the pitch black Mountain Dew, by the way, guys, that uh, came back for the first time in quite a few years. Mm. You know what that grape one tastes like? It kind of reminds me of those limited edition um, uh, Red Vines brand of grape flavored licorice. Like it's one of those things that's like kind of good, but not like, I mean, it's, it's good and fruity and tasty and everything, but it's not, I mean, it could have more flavor, but it's good kind of thing. But I still liked it, though. I mean. All right, so I tried the grape one. Now, I'm trying to tell the difference, uh, really, if I'm about to taste with this one, if this is truly the cotton candy kind. It might be. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's cotton candy, all right. That's a good one. So I'm going to be honest. Uh, these are good. They're definitely worth trying at least once because they're still pretty good. But I'm not going to say that they're better than the sour, uh, than the sour versions of the Sour Punch Straw Candies. Because obviously the sour ones are a lot better. And they have way more flavor in them. But these are still good, though. I, I like these, actually. I just wish that they made sour versions of these, because it would be better as sour, obviously. Mm. I got a couple more of those. Mm. So, guys, then... There's another new candy out. Now, I know you guys remember... Those little mini Tootsie Roll candies that came in a bag with, like, fruity flavors... And then it also had a vanilla kind as well. And you guys probably remember some of those fruity mini uh, Tootsie Roll candies. Well, now they have a sour version of these fruity Tootsie Roll candies that I wanted to show you guys. And these ones I actually tried, and they were good. All right, check this out. New, uh, hang on. Uh, Tootsie Fruit Chews, a sour kind. Now, the flavors in this one um, are orange, lemon, cherry, watermelon, and blue raspberry. And as you guys can probably see in the picture, you can tell right here, too, what the flavors are. Um, these are actually very good. I was impressed with these. And I'm not always... Well, it depends on what kind of Tootsie Rolls or Tootsie Roll Pops they are, or even just these little Tootsie Roll candies, but I was actually pretty impressed with these. These are good. So there's that one. And then, um, there's a new Sour Patch flavor, by the way, guys. And I gotta show you guys this. It, this is an interesting, uh, pick. But they're very good, too, actually. So I'm going to break those out in a second here. So. 
Now this one, this new Sour Patch candy, it's called uh, lemon, uh, Lemonade Fest. Now it comes in four flavors. It'll tell on the back and I'm going to read these out. Um, there's a strawberry lemonade kind. There's blue raspberry lemonade. There's standard lemonade. And then there's cherry lime uh, lemonade. So four flavors in these packs. I really love these. Um, you can never go wrong with Sour Patch. They're always very good, right? You know? So I'm going to have some of these now while I'm at it because, I mean, come on. The opportunity's here, right? <laughs> but uh, I'll show you the flavors on the back real quick if you can see that. But yeah, there it is. Now to give the strawberry lemonade one another try. Whichever one this is, actually, either that or cherry lime lemonade. I'm not sure which one that is. <laughs> Probably know the difference pretty soon here. <laughs> oh yeah, so the one I just had there was the strawberry lemonade kind of the one before that was the cherry lime lemonade. Now, I'm going to try the standard lemonade, this little yellow guy here. The clear to yellow kind of color mix. Just to relive this moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, baby, that's good. And then, um, last but not least, the blue raspberry lemonade guy, uh, kind that this one here. Hmm. So I found these at uh, at Walmart, if I remember right. So here's the blue raspberry lemonade one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That this one is one of the best ones, the blue raspberry lemonade ones in this pack. So there's that one. Um, all right, let's put that one away. And then I have more, obviously, a lot more things to show you guys because there are other good candies too. <clears throat> and a lot of the candies, in fact, if not all, I found at Walmart. So, guys. Then the next one up are uh, it's a new M and M's that was more of an Easter themed kind. I don't think they're around now, but um, anyways, I'm uh, really late to showing you guys this. But there's a white chocolate one with a crisp rice center of M and M's. How about that, guys? If you guys can see that white chocolate with crisp rice center. As you can tell, this is the Easter themed one. And it even says White Chocolate Marshmallow Crispy Treat. I like I actually like these ones a lot. You can't go wrong with rice like a pretty much like a rice crispy treat M and M, but with like white chocolate on it. What if they actually did that with rice crispy treats, guys, and put like white chocolate icing on top or sauce or whatever? Wouldn't that be so good? I mean, come on, we, we grew up eating, like, Rice Krispie Treats, and they're all different kinds, like, the like obviously chocolate-covered kind, there was, like, a peanut butter chocolate kind, and, I mean, you name it, there were a lot of them, but now, these days, there are especially a lot more options for those than, than in our childhood. I think they even have, like, a strawberry drizzle kind now, if I remember right, at the stores. <laughs> so, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. So then that's it on the M&M's part of it. Um, but there are some couple of other things of like chocolates and or caramels that I wanted to show you guys. Now, this one, there are two new kinds 
from the Werther's brands that you guys are about to see. Um, these were also at Walmart, by the way. Now these, this is a new, another new kind. This is a uh, chocolate covered caramels. And these are really good, actually. I really liked these ones when I tried them a few weeks ago. So, there's this one. And so, uh, yeah, it actually has caramel filling inside of the chocolate. Ooh, it's so good. I, I love these ones. Werther's has a lot of good uh, treats, to be honest. And then the other Werther's kind. Now, this one I really like, especially. Salted caramel cream filled caramels. Oh my gosh, guys. I love salted caramel. Anybody who knows me knows that I love that. I love salted caramel flavor treats. Oh, I gotta have one right now. You know, a little bit of everything. <laughs> so there's that one. We're safe for a little bit later, actually. <laughs> and. <clears throat> then this, by the way, guys, I found this at Haji Baba. Now, if you guys don't know what Haji Baba is, it's a foreign store in Tempe, Arizona, which actually, by the way, I filmed episode three of the Crimson Passion Foods and Treats there. But recently, within the last year and this year, I found some new stuff. And uh, now Haji Baba is a Mediterranean slash Middle Eastern store and they actually serve lunch there like heroes and things like that and while you're there you can also buy um, any like chocolates that are both from Europe and the Middle East and there are a lot of really good chocolates and other treats there by the way so this is um, so this one's called Euro uh, Waffle now it, it, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but last summer when I made a Crimson Pasha video, um, I told you guys about that um, that cream called Euro Cream that had but that had the very unique white hazelnut cream spread on half of in half of the container, and then the other half of the container was uh, chocolate hazelnut spread, as just like most uh, play you know brands do when they make hazelnut spread. But the unique thing about that Euro cream that I showed you guys last year was that white hazelnut cream that, oh my gosh, it was so good. Well, guess what, guys? Now they have a Euro, pretty much a Euro cream filled chocolate uh, bar that's like, like Kit Kats, almost like Kit Kats, but they have the Euro cream filling in it. Oh my gosh. If this could be a regular item in the grocery stores instead of just only foreign stores, I would buy these like pretty often because... These are just so good, guys. Like, seriously. Well, oh, this is one of my favorites. Kind of like the Kinder Bueno bars and then the hazelnut cream filled Happy Hippos, which I, the Happy Hippos, the hazelnut cream filled kind, uh, as slash milk cream kind as well. Both fillings in it. I never got to show you that to you, I me, mean, show that to you guys because ever since the pandemic, there have been a lot of shortages on those kinds of products. So. Who knows if or when it'll ever come back, but I, but those treats, someday I gotta show you guys more of those hazelnut cream ones that are really unique. Um, so anyways, there's that one. Then, um, when I was at, I believe it was at Walmart or, or some place like that. I believe it's Walmart, but uh, have you ever heard of this brand called Nature's Bakery? This is pretty much like a much healthier version of, like, um, I don't know what to compare it to. If it's really more supposed to be like, like more of like a Fig Newton bar, or if it's more comparable to Nutrigrain Nutrigrain bars, I would say probably my actually I would say probably more comparable to Fig Newtons. But this is like a gluten free version of this. This is a blueberry kind. But they also have other flavors, like they have a raspberry filled kind, and they have a pomegranate filled kind. In fact, you know what? I did find it at Walmart, guys, in like some healthy section of foods. And um, now I will say that these are kind of good, but they will taste a little bit weird because obviously they're gluten free, so it's going to taste different. It's not going to taste all glorious and excellent like, like other Fig Newton, you know, bars are, but. 
these are a nice um, alternate option, a nice alternative to, you know, having like your version of a Fig Newton, but like in a healthier way. Um, especially it's nice on the go, nice little snack for work or really anything you want to use it for. So there's that one. <clears throat> and then, um, oh yes, and then there's a new Oreo flavor, by the way, guys, if you haven't seen this one yet, but it's in stores now. Uh, I found it at Walmart, but it's called Blackout Cake Flavor Cream Oreo. So yeah, this is pretty much exactly like Blackout Cake, nice chocolate cream center in it. And uh, I actually like these ones. These are pretty good, to be honest. And um, personally, me, like most people will probably buy it multiple times, but I'm only going to buy it once because I don't want a whole crap load of Oreos stuck in my fridge that I'm not going to eat for a long time. It's one of those things where I just want to try a few of them and then, you know, be done and then I can share it with other people at some point. But yeah, anyways, Blackout Cream Oreos. This is the newest one. All right. Now, uh, guys, there, by the way, there is an, a new Little Debbie snack out. So do you guys remember those chocolate Swiss rolls with the white cream filling in it from the Little Debbie brand? And they came in, like, these shapes. Well, guess what? Now they have a strawberry cream kind in chocolate rolls. Oh, my gosh, guys. I have yet to try this. This is one another thing I didn't get to try. In fact, I want to break this open, actually. I'm curious to see how this one will taste. So we're going to get to the bottom of this and break it out. Then I can give my honest review, you know. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see if this thing lives up to its hype and then if it's worth having a second time or not. <clears throat> I'm going to try these dang Swiss rolls. <clears throat> oh, baby. I hope, I, I have a feeling this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Little Debbie does the job just about every time. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, guys, yeah. Definitely better than that strawberry cream. It's better than the standard kind, for sure. The standard kind just only has vanilla cream and this chocolate roll. But this strawberry cream makes it twice as good. Mmm. All right, obviously got one more of these babies to finish. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, guys. Oh, that's heaven. Mm. All right, now I gotta get a low ziplock slash garbage bag thing for this. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on to the next thing here. So then um, there are these other things I found that are very good, actually. And I also, I think I found it either at Fry's or Walmart, I'm pretty sure. I'll show you that to you guys in just a moment here. Now, have you guys ever seen this? This was an Easter edition, but check this out. You guys know the, the Ferrero chocolates or whatever, and typically they're like chocolate balls with hazelnuts, and it has like a hazelnut filling in the middle. Well, this is pretty much like an egg-shaped version of these, but they're better in, in some ways. And let's see. It says chocolate covered crispy eggs with creamy caramel filling. Oh, except for this one. That's right. This one has caramel filling. Oh, guys. It's been a while since I tried this, but I think I remember this one being very good. But just to confirm things with you guys, let me open one. 
to kind of refresh my memory because I bought so much stuff over the years. And... <laughs> Here we go. Oh, mm, mm, mm. oh my gosh, guys. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. The crispy and caramel all in one. All right, now, let's find out where this is from. What country these are made in. Let's see, it says, made in Italy. Oh, might not be able to see on here, but we'll see. Um, yeah, kind of hard to see on the screen, but from what I read on it in those tiny words, it said made in Italy. Mm. Oh gosh, guys. Oh, that is so good. Caramel chocolate and crispiness all in one. All in those that tiny little egg. <laughs> so then the next up, guys. No, I, I really like these ones too. So, you guys remember me telling you about those very thin, tan-colored uh, Nutella-filled biscuits that that I got a while back, and I don't know if I showed it or not in my in one of my previous Crimson Passion videos. I can't remember for sure, but now there's another new version of something that's Nutella-filled. But check this out, guys: Nutella-filled biscuit cookies. Oh my gosh, guys, these are so good. And for those who love Nutella, you'll definitely love these. This is really a, a really nice snack for really any occasion or on the go. Um, perfect for parties or whatever, you know, game nights, whatever you want to do with it. But I really like these. I found these uh, a few months ago at, at Fry's, and uh, it's in that section that it's... I don't think it's, uh, actually, you know what? I think it is in that cookie section. Might be in the same one with the Oreos in that section, if I remember right, at Fry's. So there's that one. Then I need to take a quick little drink of water. <coughs> Push down those snacks. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, so back to what I was saying. Then, um, you know what, guys? I am really happy with this, with what I found out. So have you guys ever tried that Southwest Ranch sauce that's at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings? Well, guess what, guys? Now you can buy it at Walmart, and it is super cheap. I mean, like, I think this was somewhere around, like, somewhere in the 2 to $4 range. But that's cheap at, for, at a place like Walmart because normally these sauces, when you go to Buffalo Wild Wings, some of those sauces range in between 6 to $10 on that range. And they're expensive. But if you can get it at Walmart, it's actually a lot cheaper. In fact, some of the Buffalo Wild Wings sauces that I found at Walmart were only like literally like 2 bucks. This one I think was a little bit more. I think it's 3 or $4, guys, but it is so worth it. This Southwest Ranch is super good, and um, I really love this because I've been to Buffalo Wild Wings a lot whenever I watched the Utah Utes game or sort of the Phoenix Suns games, and um, and then I would have like a burger and cheese curds, and I would dip the cheese curds in this Southwest Ranch sauce, and oh my gosh, guys, it is seriously so good. Um, this is definitely worth buying like continuously because it's it's. I mean, who doesn't love a nice Southwest Ranch kick, right? <laughs> so there's that one. And then, um, <clears throat> now, do you guys remember me showing you like a year ago when I showed you that um, that Lighthouse brand that makes ranch dressings and like dips and things like that? You remember how I showed you the dill, the dill, uh, dill pickle flavored ranch dressing or whatever that was from the Lighthouse brand? And by the way, guys, the Lighthouse brand is from Idaho, and they actually make some really good uh, ranch dressings. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this new one that's kind of new, but um, it's a garlic ranch. This is great for salads, obviously involving, like, chicken and the salad. Um, goes great with popcorn chicken 
or any variations of chicken in a salad if you want like a garlic and chicken combination um there are also buffalo wild wings by the way guys has like a parmesan garlic uh dressing that you can use for salads or really for anything and then um that one and also this garlic ranch those are actually very good um so this is a nice addition for ranch dressings perfect for salads you know um maybe some might even put it in sandwiches who knows <laughs> so there's that one um then guys there are two new lace chips flavors by the way the first one i have yet to try this one i just got this a few days ago and i think i found this one at i want to say it was at albertson's yeah in fact it was bacon lettuce tomato sandwich oh my gosh guys i have to try this i like blt stuff so i'll probably i probably will like it <clears throat> So I want to make sure it doesn't have some like weird, you know, aftertaste thing or whatever, but I'm sure it's going to be good. I mean, BLT, you can never go wrong with that stuff. So, um, use my hand wipe real quick, sanitize my hands here, but I got to try this guys because I haven't tried that one in the other news lays chip flavor. Um, so here we go. <clears throat> All right, about to test this BLT sandwich light ship. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's a nice flavor. I like that. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Dude, guys, so worth it. So worth getting. Mm -hmm. and now guys the next one I have to open another lace chip flavor this one is an interesting one so I don't know how this is going to turn out if it's going to be like really good or if it's going to taste super weird but it's, it's called the Cuban Sandwich and, you know, like Cuban sandwiches or like ham and Swiss type of sandwiches and sometimes all like mustard in it or things like that. So uh, let's see how this one does. Let me get that BLT taste out of my mouth real quick. <clears throat> all right. Let's taste that. Cuban sandwich and see how good this is. It's in, it's in a Ruffles chip, by the way. Ooh. Mmm. That's good. I like that. It surely does taste like a ham sandwich. That's pretty much what this is. A Cuban sandwich is like a ham sandwich. But like with Swiss and mustard and other things in it. But I don't taste much much of the mustard taste, but it's just more of like a ham and cheese sandwich kind of thing. That's good though. Uh normally I'm not a fan of Swiss, but but in a Cuban sandwich I would definitely be willing to try it if it's like the real thing, you know? Um But it, it's good in this chip flavor too, by the way, guys. Mm. Mm. I'm liking that a lot. Now, uh, the next one, and this is from the brand called Hers, by the way. And I've tried these one before, these ones before, but I found that's a Circle K. Um, this brand called Hers. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Ghost pepper, potato chips. You're thinking, oh, this is super spicy, but no, actually, guys, this this potato chip flavor specifically is not as spicy as it looks. I've actually tried these before, and um, they're really not any spicier than having, like, mild or medium salsa, to be honest. Now, if it were the real ghost, pe ghost peppers, then yeah, 
it's going to be extremely hot. But this one, not really. But it's it's nice because it has a good balance of a pepper flavor in these chips, and it's perfect for chips and dip too. By the way, but these are are seriously so good. And by the way, guys, this hers brand, they make knockoff versions of Cheetos. And if you go to like the Dollar General store, sometimes they'll have like jalapeno popper flavored Cheetos. Yeah, jalapeno popper flavored Cheetos, which are so good, by the way. And if you go to the Cracker Barrel, the one at Mesa Riverview, Mesa, Arizona, I'm not sure about other Cracker Barrel locations, but I know at least the one in Mesa, Arizona has a, um, sometimes they have like a summer time thing or like certain times of the year where where they'll have like a spicy barbecue flavored uh, Cheeto from that Hearst brand. And that's another really good one, guys. Um, oh my gosh. And you know how good Cracker Barrel is for both their food and candies and snacks. Anything you find there is obviously good. So that's that one of the chips. That's the last of the chips, guys. Um, but there are a few other things that I wanted to cover and show you guys real quick. Um, this is about to get interesting. It's kind of a wild pick, but I haven't tried it yet, but I want to know how it tastes at some point when I open that box of cereal. But there's a new Fruity Pebbles flavor out. It's called Berry Pebbles. Obviously has Wilma uh, Flintstone on it and Betty or whatever if you guys grew up watching the Flintstones. But yeah, uh, this looks actually very, this actually looks very good. And I'm curious to try this to see how this cereal does, if it lives up to the hype or not. So obviously I'm not going to try that now and I don't have milk on me at the moment. But at some point I'm going to, sometime in the next couple of weeks I'd like to try this. Because cereals last a long time. They don't expire uh, very quickly, obviously. So there's that one. Now, there are two new Pop-Tart flavors. Now guys, don't judge me because I actually don't buy uh, pop tarts very often. It's only when they're like new ones these days that I actually buy it. When I was younger, I used to buy that stuff a lot more, but I just can't do that anymore, especially because I have certain a certain food schedules. So the first one is actually a banana bread flavored pop tart. So at some point, I'm going to try these, just not yet because there are other meals that I'm going to have tonight. So I don't want it to disrupt my my meal and then I get full early on over full, you know, but there's a banana bread kind right here, so I bet this one might actually be good, but we'll see. I, I hope it lives up to the hype. Um, yeah, the banana bread kind. And then there's an Apple Jacks kind. Now, this is a weird twist. Who knows? This could be hit or miss. This is like a 50-50 chance. There's a, the, the first 50% that it could be good because it has a nice apple cinnamon flavor in it just like apple jacks does or it's going to be the other 50 percent where it's going to come out weird and like and then you're just like okay this is weird yeah this doesn't taste that great but we'll see we'll see how this one does i don't want to judge it until i try it try it at some point um fortunate unfortunately right now i'm not going to be trying the pop tarts tonight because i already have a certain meal schedule that i want to go with tonight so um but I think that covers pretty much everything. I think that's the last of all this stuff that I showed you guys. Yeah, in fact, it is. But guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you guys have a great Sunday night and uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And um, so I hope you guys will like this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any certain comments. Uh, obviously, I want positive comments, no negative stuff. But if you guys have any questions or have any uh, suggestions on certain foods you like or certain things you want to hear about for my Crimson Passion videos, don't hesitate to let me know because that's what I'm here for after all, or to show off great food and treats. So thank you guys and have a great night. And I will see you later. All right, bye.